Hello everybody, my name is Christopher Lucor and today I'm here to teach you a little bit about the Sharpless asymmetric dihydroxylation. So this is the reaction of an alkyne with osmium tetroxide in the presence of a chiral quinine ligand. So uh, the reagents for this reaction are sold in two different mixes. We have our AD mix beta and our AD mix alpha. The AD mix beta adds our alcohol groups from the top or front of the molecule, and the AD mix alpha adds our alcohols from the bottom or back of the molecule. So if we look over here, we can uh, imagine our alkyne drawn in this plane, and we can visualize our AD mix adding the alcohols from the top, or our AD mix alpha adding them from the bottom. Um, now the reagents included in these mixes, for the AD mix beta, we have potassium, uh, osmium tetroxide, and we have our uh, potassium carbonate and our potassium ferrocyanide, as well as our chiroquinine ligand dhqe 2 val And um, in our admix alpha, we have our osmium tetroxide, our potassium carbonate, our potassium ferrocyanide, and our chiroquinine ligand dhq 2 val um, So let's take in a look at an example from Kumar's 2005 synthesis of microcarpalides. Um, so in this reaction, we have our dhqd fal which is our AD mix beta, and as we can see in our product, our alcohols have added from the front of the molecule as we would expect. Thank you. I hope you've learned a little bit about the Sharpless asymmetric dihydroxylation today.